For 11 years, Back to Basics has provided resources to others to take care of the environment. E.D. Clotter shows us how simple practices can contribute to sustainability. No matter if it's good times or bad, the more you live resiliently or sustainably, the better off you will be. Imagine how much money you'd save by growing your garden produce or obtaining power through solar energy. Pine River Back at School hosted the 11th annual Back to Basics event to help people take the next step towards sustainability for the environment. It can really make an impact in your daily living and overall then we're making a greater impact to be able to live comfortably on this planet for longer. The day began with keynote speaker and Fresh Energy Science Policy Director Jay Drake Hamilton emphasizing the importance of clean energy. Now there are 82 companies in Minnesota, Minnesota companies, that work on solar energy and there are 47 companies that work on wind energy and they're located in many different parts of the state including central Minnesota and they're providing good paying jobs in the clean energy sector. There were several classes set up throughout the school for guests to create some of their very own products. During the workshops you could make essential oils or even a t-shirt as a keepsake. Inside the gym there were nearly 50 vendors offering handmade or natural items. 90-year-old Jack McAllister of Jack Mac Inc. has been gardening since he was a young boy. McAllister created a system that makes gardening easier. Paper pots are made with his Roly Rooter device. After they're uh, grown, you can put the uh, complete pot in the ground or you can strip the newspaper off and use it that way. This biomass stove can be used for cooking or to heat your home during Minnesota winters. It doesn't require electricity, so if it powers out, you'll still have heat. So it burns wood, wood byproducts, uh, anything basically that grows on earth, you can use as fuel for the stove. The next time you plant a seed or cook, you may be sustaining energy. In Pine River, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. Some of the workshops available included beekeeping, soap making, and natural cleaning. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.